brand new study of a vitamin in many medicine cabinets that could be dangerous. Niacin, also known as vitamin B3, is a popular treatment for people trying to control cholesterol, but this study suggests the side effects could outweigh the benefits. Our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, here to explain, and this is bad news for niacin. Absolutely, George. Here's the actual study right here. Some cardiologists are calling this a landmark study. What they did is they looked at a group of patients already with cardiovascular disease. They put some of them on a combination drug, niacin or vitamin B3, with an anti-flushing drug, compared them to placebo, and what they found was that while niacin did improve their numbers, it dropped their bad cholesterol their LDL, it raised their good cholesterol, it did not prevent end events like heart attack and stroke, and check out these side effects, they were significant. The patients on this high dose, 2,000 milligrams of niacin had gastrointestinal issues, diabetes, infection, bleeding. These are significant. Merck funded this study, George. This was not good news these for niacin. These are definitely side effects. These are, you couldn't have a gastro situation. These are known side effects, Lara. We've known for a while that niacin can do this, but again, how much and to what extent wasn't really delineated because before this study. People think it's niacin, it's a vitamin, it yeah. must be safe to take. Is there a dosage that is safe? Well, look, the recommended daily allowance for this vitamin is between 14 and 16 milligrams. These patients were on 2,000 milligrams. Wow. But think of it like this. Yes, it's a vitamin. Yes, it can be available over the counter. Yes, it's natural, quote unquote. But be clear, there are always risks. And in medicine, we always have to weigh the risks versus the benefits. And remember, the premise of medicine is first, do no harm. I just have to ask, yes, no. Would you tell patients to take it? In this dosage, absolutely not. Way too risky. Okay.